Griffin's Occasion series of YouTube tutorials in MATLAB and today we're doing an image processing one and we're looking at Zernica moments. Now before I do anything just to say that this work is not mine it belongs solely to this chap Amir and if I go up there that's in the MATLAB file exchange and you should be able to see the number there and if you don't you can just search for it. So what does Amir do? He just I go to leave that there, just look at his paper, and he was looking at molecular masses. So, a quite common problem in a monography is sort of false detection, false negatives, and false positives. And this is of major concern to the patient and to the caregiver. So, you want to try, in particular, you see here, to reduce the false negative rate. So you tell the patient that he or she does not have you know, the disease when in fact she does, which is quite serious. And a false positive would be quite obviously you say the person has the disease, has the medical mass when they don't. So the poor person will undergo a good few months of uh, trauma. Now, if you read the whole paper, that's, it's just up there, and the link is given by the way, if you're looking for it, if you just go down here. The link is there, so you're able to find the paper from there yourself. And just leave that up there. And when um, Amir and his uh, co-workers uh, did this if for this paper here, if I had the best achieved, the optimal was the false negative was zero and the false positive uh, was 5.5%. So, yeah, that would be if that you know worked every time, you'd be more than happy with those set of results. Okay, so just again, before we do anything, just uh, this is the Wikipedia page in Zernica Moments, and I'm just highlighting this bit, you can go look it up yourselves. Uh, I mean, they're used for other things, but I'm just doing the image processing aspect of it. Uh, <clears throat> so they're there for cancer. Uh, and if you find the Wikipedia page, there's links to references 7 and 8. And just one other thing. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, there's a f these slides here, Zernica Moments from... Uh, just there by uh, Stephen Wu and Michael Vaboroff. And there's a quite nice set of slides. If I can just. So there's the advantages. Sorry, I shouldn't be jumping around. But there's regular moments. I'm not going to go through all the slides. So Zernica. Uh, they're not translation and scale invariant, so you'd have to make them translation and scale invariant before running Zernica. And if we just go down to the Zernica here, simple rotation invariant, higher accuracy for detailed shapes, etc. So you can go look up the maths yourself. So I'm going to get rid of that. I ran the code, the code is there. I'm not going to go through it, you can download it yourself. And he just ran a simple demo here. So we look at the demo in a second, but the order is four and the repetition is two. So you could change that. There's the uh, published version. <coughs> and you can see here, excuse me, sorry about this. Sorry. <coughs> sorry for that. Um, so we've read in two different shapes, which we just see down here. So there's the horizontal oval, the 45 degree and the vertical. We can see here the amplitude is the same for all three. And the phase is directly proportional to the rotation. So we're able, this should be the same. So no, if you were, that was a malignant uh, mass you should be able to say detect um, you know no matter what uh, rotation is that you should be able to pick it up 
for a demo then he took in three different shapes uh, and he showed here that the amplitude for these two is the same we got the uh, phase here they were quite different because that's directly rotated to the rotation and then the amplitude here is completely different to these two shapes here okay so i hope that helps i know i didn't go through the details of it but if you're at this you're probably quite expert in the area as it stands thanks very much for listening bye